Hey, what's up guys, Mike Redfox. In this video, we're gonna test the RX 6600 versus the RX 6600 XT, find out what GPU is the most efficient, and by the end of this video, I'm gonna give you my opinion on which one I recommend for mining. On the bench, I have two power color hellhounds. One is an XT, one is a non-XT. We're gonna do three things together in this video. The first of which is test these cards out. And I've already done a lot of this work just to save you some time, and I'll quickly go through the hatch rate results for Ethereum, Ravencoin and Firo, and Ergo. We're gonna get some help measuring power. I have an inline meter here from Elmore Lab that's a PMD. I have a video on it, I'll link up in the card above. And what that's gonna let me do is measure the true wattage pull from these GPUs over the PCIe cables. Then the second thing we're gonna do is take all that information, put it into a spreadsheet, and once and for all, get some final efficiency numbers of these graphics cards. What is the most efficient? And then the third and last thing we're gonna do together is take all that information, and I'm gonna give you my personal opinions on what GPU I would recommend for mining. Ethereum is up first. You can see the XT pulling 31.77 mega hash, and the non-XT pulling 28.86 mega hash. The overclocks are on the screen here if they're helpful to you. The one I will call out that probably looks a little weird is the core being at 901. When that is at 900, the core voltage will not unlock and you won't be able to get all the way down to this 620. Just bumping that one from 900 to 901 allows the core voltage to unlock, drops the millivolts all the way down to 620 and it gets you some extra power savings. Big thank you to some members of my Discord helping me figure that out. Let's look at the power draw in line over PCIe. What you see on your screen right now is the 6600 pulling 51 watts, 50 to 51 watts in line. Let's switch that over to the 6600 XT, and you can see we're pulling 59 watts in line right now. Next is Ravencoin and Firo. I did have to change the overclocks here, and you can see on the 6600 XT, we bumped the core all the way up to 1,425, and then I had to bump the core voltage up 660. On the regular 6600, all I had to do was bump the core up to 1200. Now, I'm mining Ravencoin right now, but Ravencoin and Firo hash rates will be identical because they use the same foundational algorithm of ProgPow. You can see on the XT, I'm getting 17.59 mega hash, and on the non-XT, I'm getting 14.69 mega hash. If we look over at the wall, we're pulling more wattage because I had to bump up the core. On, on the 6600, we're up to 60 watts, 61 watts, and if we change over to the 6600 XT, you can see that we're pulling 76 watts in line. Ergo's up next using the exact same overclocks as Ethereum. You can see the 6600 XT is doing 62.74 mega hash and the non-XT is doing 56.53 mega hash. Looking on the meter here in line, the 6600 right now is doing 50 watts. And if we switch that over to the 6600 XT, we're doing 57 to 59 watts. Spreadsheet time. So I have both GPUs entered in here, the 6600 XT on the top, and the non-XT on the bottom. And the hash rates that I've entered in are the hash rates that I averaged out over multiple days of testing these GPUs. Power, right from that PMD measured in line. And what I like to do is take those two numbers, hash rate divided by power, and it gives me an efficiency number. And just in case you're not familiar, the higher the number here, the more efficient the GPU is, means it uses less power for more performance, and that is the scale us miners use to really compare one GPU versus another, and that's exactly what I'm doing here, comparing the XT versus the non-XT. And you can see, maybe to your surprise, maybe not, the RX 6600 is more efficient on every single algorithm that I tested over the XT. Looking at Ethereum coming in at a 0.58 on efficiency makes it, in fact, one of the most efficient Ethereum GPUs that you can buy, period. Below that on Raven and Firo coming in at a 0.24, again, beating the XT. And finally on Ergo at a 1.13, again, beating the 6600 XT in efficiency. So what does all of this mean? It means this card kicks ass. Let's go through the pros and cons. Pros first. Pro, efficiency. So what we just spent all of this time talking about. What that means in practice is you're gonna be able to stay profitable in mining over your electrical costs for much longer than if you had a less efficient GPU. As the network hash rate continues to rise and if prices drop, you're gonna be able to keep mining and not have to shut off your mining rigs. Second pro, at least in the state of things right now, this GPU is kind of available. It's easier to get, at least it has been for me, than any of the other graphics cards I've been seeking to buy. So if you're looking to get into mining or looking to expand your mining operation, the RX 6600 is a great choice. Let's talk cons. Density is terrible with this GPU. It takes four 6600s to do the same amount of hash rate as a 3090. So what does that mean? That means 
more motherboards, more CPUs, more power supplies, more space. You get the idea for this specific GPU. Second con, resale value down the road. What's it going to be two, three years from now? It's a low tier 1080p gaming card. Is anybody going to want this versus again, a card like that 3090, which should hold resale value much longer than the 6600. So final opinions, would I recommend this card for GPU mining? Absolutely. I think it does amazing on Ethereum right now. The efficiency is insane and it shows it has some life in it when Ethereum goes away in mining Firo and Ravencoin specifically. If you like this type of video, please check out my video comparing the 1660 Super versus the TI. I'll leave it linked up in the card above. If you want to see me test out any other GPUs going head to head in a duel, let me know down in the comment section below. And any other thoughts you had, did I miss something? Let me know down in the comment section below. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hit the like button if you did. Subscribe to the channel for more GPU mining content. Join my Discord if you want to chat. The link is down in the description. And as always, please take care of yourself and each other. And I'll see you in the next video.